Today we are going to discuss some electric vehicle related interview questions. The electric vehicle industry is growing at a high pace these days. Are you planning a job in electric vehicle industry? Then these electric vehicle interview questions and answers will definitely help you out. There are different types of firms working in the electric vehicle domain. Before attending the interview, try to know more about the company and its activities. The interview preparation needs to be in focus on the requirements of the job that you are going to apply. In this video, we are going to discuss a few interview questions and their answers related to electric vehicles. These questions are mainly for entry level and mid level candidates. We start with some basic questions and then discuss some complicated questions as well. While answering the question, you need not tell all the answers that we discuss here. The answers are explained in such a way that you get a detailed insight about the topic. You may pick only the relevant points to answer the question. So the first question is, why do you choose an electric vehicle company? You can answer like this, I consider the electric vehicle industry as a place where I could deliver the best of my knowledge. This is one of the fields where many technological advancements happen. Working in the EV sector provides opportunities to be part of cutting edge advancements in the automotive industry. The growth potential of EV is high and I would like to be a part of it by contributing my ideas and effort. Moreover, I am concerned about the environment and eco-friendly transportation. So I think it would be a better option to be part of an organization that focuses on electric vehicles. Second question is what are electric vehicles and what are their classifications? The simple answer to this question is the electric vehicles are classified into three. The first one is the battery electric vehicles, the next one the plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and the third one is the hybrid electric vehicles. The details of these vehicles are available on this channel, you can check out later. The next question is what are the main components of an electric vehicle? So an electric vehicle consists of many components. The first one is an electric motor, the next one is battery pack, the power electronics components, onboard chargers, thermal management system, vehicle control unit, DC to DC converter. There are many other components but these are the basic elements that are required in an electric vehicle. The fourth question is what are the advantages of electric vehicles over IC engine vehicles? There are many advantages for an electric vehicle over IC engine vehicles. The, the following are a few among them, the environmental benefits, energy efficiency, reduced operating costs, energy independence and renewable energy integration, quiet and smooth operation, government incentives and support, better performance. Usually we discuss about only the environmental benefits and reduced operating costs, but electric vehicles provides better performance as well. The next question is how to charge a hybrid electric vehicle. It's important to note that an hybrid electric vehicle does not feature an external charger. There are different methods to charge the battery of an hybrid electric vehicle. The first one is through regenerative braking. The second one is through internal combustion engine charging. The third one is idle charging. The vehicle will have an electric machine and it will be operated using the IC engine. That's how it gets charged. Then obviously the next question would be why do we need an hybrid electric vehicle then? Hybrid electric vehicles generally have a higher fuel efficiency than IC engine vehicles. A hybrid electric vehicle will have both IC engine and electric motor. The primary purpose of the battery in a hybrid electric vehicle is to support the electric motor and improve overall fuel efficiency by supplementing the internal combustion engine. The motor helps the IC engine to operate at a higher efficiency operating points most of the time and improves the efficiency of the vehicle. There are plug-in hybrid electric vehicles as well. Those vehicles can be plugged into the socket and charged externally. The next question is which of the following will have a higher capacity battery? Battery electric vehicle, hybrid electric vehicle and plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Battery electric vehicle has a higher capacity battery and it can operate only using electric energy. The all electric range of battery electric vehicle would be higher than hybrid electric vehicle and plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. The PH EV's battery is of lesser capacity than that of the battery electric vehicle. The battery capacity of hybrid electric vehicle is generally smaller compared to plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles. The hybrid electric vehicles rely less on the electric power and it will have shorter electric only range. That means using only electricity it cannot travel more. It uses the IC engine's power as well for its propulsion. The hybrid electric vehicles will have an improved range than full IC engine vehicle. Another question is, when was EV first made? Robert Anderson in around 1832 developed the first crude electric vehicle, but it isn't until 1870s or later that electric car become practical. The first electric vehicle was invented before the invention of internal combustion engine. Here we have seen that the electric vehicle was invented very long, but why EV takes this long to get attention? 
there are many factors such as the technological limitations infrastructure challenges cost and affordability range anxiety and perception market readiness and government support psychological and behavioral factors moreover the availability of the fossil fuels shifted the focus of the researchers to the ic engine vehicles rather than the electric vehicles i will provide the link to a blog post where we discussed all these points in detail in the description below another question is are electric vehicles eco friendly since we generate electricity from coal the answer is yes they are the efficiency of coal based power plants is around 40% assume that the generated electricity reaches the vehicle with a transmission efficiency of 88% and the charging efficiency is 98% and we are assuming the efficiency of the motor is 95% the overall efficiency would be the product of all these values and it's equal to around 32% but in a petrol car it will have a maximum efficiency of around 28% so it converts fuel into kinetic energy with a maximum efficiency of 28% here itself we can see a difference in the efficiency of ic engine vehicle and electric vehicle in addition to this there are some other points that makes this electric vehicle superior to ic engine vehicle in the whole life cycle the emission from an electric vehicle is much lesser than that from an ic engine vehicle the ic engine emits harmful gases wherever it go but the electric vehicle does not emit gas wherever it goes so the emission is limited to the place where the power plant is situated there are many more questions to discuss about the electric vehicle for example how would you compare the mileage of an ic engine vehicle and the range of an electric vehicle since both of these are different parameters how the comparison is possible how do electric vehicle components communicate with each other is there any communication protocol and do you know the details about the protocol does an ev use alternator for auxiliary supply what is pyrofuse in an electric vehicle what is autosar We have answers to more than 40 questions related to electric vehicles on our blog. I will provide the link to the blog in the description. You can check out. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you in another video.